in college football and the first one to win a thousand games the michigan wolverines today we have one of those games that test your focus top 25 team against an unranked opponent can you take care of business as we'll see a squad from the big 10 the washington Huskies, taking on the winners of four straight the michigan wolverines 48 Sports College Football. Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Wolverines will kick it off to get us underway. From inside the 10, here he comes. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Washington's offense will start this game off. And when you take the field with the confidence, the swag that this guy does, David, it just really elevates your confidence in the passing game. That receivers don't usually lack confidence. And those are the guys that kind of set the tone. And the swagger sets the tone for this offense. And Jesse, you know he's going to make plays. And that speed scares defenses, too, because he can take the top off quick. These safeties better get back deep, or else this guy's going to take it to the house. Getting some heat. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. And the defense coming through with the first sack of the day. And I tell you what, this defense, they get so many negative plays, and they play so fast. Sometimes you think when you watch them on tape, they got 12 guys. Last week they pitched a shutout. This week playing a great ball again. Open space at the 25. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Huskies will be forced to boot it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. On the return, it's Stewart. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Can they catch him? He will score! Touchdown, Michigan! Now that is a play that will get your sidelines into the game with that touchdown. And you could see once he left everybody in the dust and he was going to the house, the sidelines going nuts. What a big time play to take the lead. Defense did his job. Now special teams coming through in a big way. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So his big play capability was on full display in that one as he took that punt back for the touchdown. The kickoff team is out there after 
making that pump return for a touchdown. They'll try to pin him deep. Caught inside the 20, chance for a good return. And the coverage team able to wrestle it down. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on the field. He wants to pass it on second down. And here's a fumble way behind the line. How about that alert play from the defense to scoop it up? Touchdown, Wolverines! And the defense doing work. This defense is so opportunistic. What a sequence of events. Ball carrier puts the ball on the ground. Defense scoops and scores. Wow. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point makes it 14-0. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. Hauls it in inside his 20, and here he comes. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or that scheme that you can use against this defense. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the corner. From the gun, give on the inside. And after the stop, Ed is going to put a bow on this first quarter. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. They largely dominated this first quarter, as indicated by the stats. a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. And he got enough for the first down, but somebody put the hit stick upside his head. It's a first down. They'll stop the clock to reset the chains. Offense up tempo. Pocket starts to collapse. And there was no way to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Quick tempo, no huddle off, and second down, Fox running. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. On target over the middle. And he'll be brought down. Well, they've done nothing on offense so far, but if they can put some points on the board before halftime, it could really change things. No doubt. Going to the locker room with some good juices. Touchdown, Washington! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Texas State has the lead right now. San Marcos has been jumping all week. But this game is hardly over. There is time left on that clock. They're up by a field goal over Troy. 
Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Open a drive like that, it opens a world of possibilities. First down from the 43. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Complete downfield. Nothing but green ahead. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Michigan. This offense is high octane, boy. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it in style with a 57-yard toss for six. Great starting point. Grabs it inside his 25, and here he comes. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Bounced right back to them. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. And that pass picked off. Got room on the return. Touchdown, Wolverine. What a great play by the defense of paying it off with the interception return. How efficient have they been as they extend this lead here in week five. And they knock through the extra point, and they're up 28 to 7. And doing a great job in coverage. Obviously, you got to play run first as a linebacker always. That's your first thought process. But then reading the QB's eyes, breaking on the football, catching it. And then from there, it was easy. Just take it right to the house. Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. Let's it fly. Got his hand downfield. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They're trying to get to it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. Wants to throw on second down. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. Man, this guy is just starting to take this game over. Sack on first down, sack on second down, and now on third.